I know your fantasy. You like that floating top bar, which sort of elevates on the top. I know you like that. Well, here comes the new GNOME extension, Floating Top Bar Mini. Okay, it's the heavier on the desktop. This is right now Fedora 42 with this awesome setup. Now, a dedicated video about this setup is on the channel, but let's focus on the real lead, the extension, for which I'm going to use Extension Manager. You can find this application on Flathub. From here, you can actually browse and install everything from one place. So, the thing which I want to show you is floating mini panel. And I've already installed it, so let's enable it, shall we? There we go. And now you might wonder, like, why is my panel not floating? Well, you have a particular option to use it. For example, we can set it to automatic. There we go. This is our floating panel here. You can easily set it anywhere you want. For example, I want this floating. And here it is working just as you expect it to be. Now you can launch your applications at ease. And yeah, whenever you go to the dash, it returns back to its original thing. But whenever you are on the desktop, it looks like this and it looks good. Now you can use whatever you want at ease and it won't interfere in your life. For example, here, you can do things like this. It is floating and it actually looks good. Like, yeah, you can actually go full screen like this and it's going to be there. So you can easily set it to automatic. Now, whenever you're on a normal desktop like this, you can switch to permanent and it looks good. Like for most of the floating applications, it's awesome. And if I want to use something in full screen, I can actually do that, but I like it this way. Yep, it just works. And and it looks really clean in the restaurant. Like, yeah. And now, you might wonder, like, why it is just this grey stone. Well, you can actually change that. So, you see, the theme, the layout of this is particularly inspired from the already applied one, which is right now at Vita. If you want to change it, you're going to have to use a separate dedicated theme for, you know, everything. Like, for example, Orcus GDK theme. This is the perfect one, in my opinion, to make it look like floating. Just download this file, download in. And now this is time for the segue to our sponsor, DataSurf. The smart, local-first browser that is built for creators, dreamers, or anyone who actually thinks on the internet. And everything I researched for the video before the pre-production was done inside DataSurf just like this. And most browsers track you, but DataSurf doesn't. DataSurf is a local first browser. So yes, I use DataSurf and it's not just a browser for me. It's a one-stop destination for my workspace. It is like my second brain. And you can check DataSurf with the link in the description. And let's continue the video. Okay then, so it is downloaded. Let's install it. There we go. Extract. There we are. Just right click here. You see, let me just teach you one thing which you should remember while installing GNOME Keeps or any theme on KDE or somewhere. So usually you'd go with install.sh, right? But always add an L, which means libidvita applications, which are like your shells, applications, GNOME files, or the console, or some other applications like settings. They all need libidvita. And it's going to install SASSC or libsas. Let me just install it. There we go, installation begin, and we're done. Now, all we need to do is just apply the theme. And yeah, by the way, it actually looks good. Appearance, Gnome Shell, and there we go, Orcus. Orcus Light, nope, Orcus. Orcus. Now, as you can see, there is a problem. I've used Gnome Blur My Shell, so I'm going to have to remove that in order to properly see the real floating panel. Go to Panel, remove it. Now, on Orkis GDK theme, you're going to see this kind of floating panel, which actually looks good. But having an actual floating panel is even better. And here we are. Now, this is actually transparent. It sort of looks good, but what if we could even make it better? So, you see, it is right now, the text is dark. We can actually change it by using Orkis Dark. There we go. Now, we can place it in a dark wallpaper, like the native Gnome's wallpaper. Like this one. Now it is looking damn good. You have a floating panel which is transparent and works awesome. But yeah, I prefer the normal Orcus theme. Yep, it just works. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Like, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. And I just don't like this wallpaper. I'm going to go back to my nothing phones wallpaper. You can actually find a video about this on my channel. Okay, there we go. 
Let me just go to tweaks, appearance, shell. Let's get back to Advita. Now extension. Well, yeah, in this video, I just wanted to show you this thing. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to be showing a lot more. Like for example, one of the first GNOME AI assistants or this assistant is actually available for all the distributions, whatever the desktop, but it actually works amazingly. A dedicated video is coming on the channel just maybe the next day or the same day. It actually is awesome. And then we have a lot of other videos coming on the channel too. So yeah. And yeah, don't forget to check out DataSurf. You see, it is one of the best browsers out there. And this is the contextual workspace which actually looks damn good but works even better. The link is in the description. You can check this out. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing out.